This next part's a bit opinion-based. People have been galvanized about a special edition from C the Deep Silver, and I'm going to admit I hate Deep Silver. Don't get me wrong, I am going to give their next Dead Island game at least a try, and a fair one at that. I do not like them as a company, though. I do not like the fact that they are unwilling to acknowledge that, that oftentimes that uh, Dead uh, what was it? Uh, Dead Island had as many horribly, almost game-breaking flaws. It was a game that up until the last patch was absolutely unplayable unless you played it in one sitting. And that was made impossible by the fact that it would freeze the PS3. Because my main experience with it was with the PS3. I do not have a PC, I believe, that could run it at this time. And at this point, I really don't care. The fact that their title card, their title card had lag issues should tell you how bad of a game company Deep Silver is. I basically, in disgust, returned their game. I rented it later after many people came down on me because they were defending the game. Some of them, I imagine, were trolls. Others found some way to enjoy that extremely monotonous. It had its moments, but overall boring, grinding RPG zombie killer. They've now apologized for an incentive that they gave over in the UK. And this is why I hate region-specific TAT, as it's known over in the UK, when it comes to games. Oftentimes, they get the cool stuff, they get the lion's share, and we get crapped on. Even though, when you look at the sales charts, we tend to be the buyers of the games that uh, Japan and many other regions have given up on trying to send to us oftentimes, citing that localization is hard. Can you understand how frustrating it is to love a medium but hate the business? I have such animosity towards a lot of Japanese developers because what they say doesn't match up with what the market is. That they've done things like pull things that would have sold through the roof, and provably so, and blamed us because they gave up on the Western territories. And in the UK, you have UK developers who often will favor just their region. And I'm not saying America doesn't do it. Our crap certainly does sting it too. But lately, favoritism to one's region just has become a bigger, more obvious thing, and it disgusts me. So what is this controversial piece of tat? Well, it's a statue. But wait, it gets better. It's a statue of a limbless, legless, I guess limbless would go along with that, but an armless, a legless, and a headless woman clad in a Union Jack bikini, and her breasts are completely intact, even though a good part of the rest of her body is quite well mutilated. Well, no, the belly is pretty, you know, her t the toned belly is, is perfectly preserved because, you know, it was called the zombie bait edition. The joke being that you would have this woman's body and you just you throw it out there for the zombies to eat and maybe you would booby trap it, no pun intended, and the zombies would feast on it and you'd spring the trap and all merriment would be given out. The typical people are coming out against this, saying that this is absolutely sexist. I don't believe that was the intent, but it just goes to show you how absolutely more incompetent Deep Silver is. Because they have apologized about it, only to later then try to say that it's actually art. Oh, so if we call it art then mutilation of a woman's body is completely okay. Though, don't let my tone in my discussion up to right now fool you. I'm actually completely on the fence here. I don't necessarily 
feel that it's sexist, but at the same time, I don't really feel that it's art either. Granted, it's sculpted. It's a sculpture. It's a statue. And to get the proportions where they are, to get the body and the muscular tone, and to get the, the grisly parts, that is art. That part's not arguable. But is it good art? Is it bad art? And yeah, that can be subjective. In fact, this entire video is very subjective, and I absolutely admit to that. Deep Silver is, quote, deeply sorry about trying to sell their game with a statue of a severed woman. A statement on the Zombie Bait Edition. We deeply apologize for any offense caused by the Dead Island Riptide Zombie Bait Edition. The Collector's Edition announced for Europe and Australia. Because, you know, screw Japan and America. Just saying. Like many gaming companies, Deep Silver has many offices in different countries, which is why sometimes different versions of Collector's Editions come out. Right. For a limited run of the Zombie Bait Edition for Europe and Australia, a decision was made to include a gruesome statue of a zombie torso, which was cut up like many of our fans have done in Dead Island Enemies in the original Dead Island. Yes, because that makes it okay. We sincerely regret this choice. We are collecting feedback continuously from the Dead Island community as well as the international gaming community at large for ongoing inter internal meetings, blah, blah, blah. We'll try to make sure this never happens again. Though they're not pulling the edition. If anything, they're basically just, as I said, dubbing it as art, or some people in the community are dubbing it as art, and that it has every bit of a right to exist. I'm just kind of like, well, why stop there? If you're really going to be that ballsy, if you're really going to just basically act like you're doing something deep silver, which, yeah, I really believe that, just make it for every territory. Release it out there. Get the, the feministic hate mongers after you who are maybe kind of right, but not for the reasons they want to be. And, and then just deal with it. What was it that you guys generally tend to say, no, there's no such thing as bad press and all that rot? Surely a controversy like this, which may, to be honest with you, be partly, con uh, partly manufactured, can only bolster the, uh, the need for it. And let's face it, if they do release the thing, it is likely to be a limited run. And the prices are going to go through the roof on eBay. I mean, hell, if somebody is willing to pay upwards of, what, $9,000 for a poorly drawn, crudely cut out cardboard Wii U controller, although that was halted, but the fact that it got that high, then I would not be surprised if this statue alone, let alone the edition it went with, didn't go for obscene amounts of money. Money that those game companies won't see, by the way, which is why I'm a big fan of secondhand sales when it comes to companies who have underhanded practices and cry poverty when they're making millions upon millions of dollars from their loyal fan base. But this, this is just a subjective piece to point at Deep Silver and laugh at their incompetence. Oh, yeah, they didn't see this coming. Nobody from the head offices understood that this was going to happen, nor did they see any sort of a problem with having a, a mutilated woman in an already volatile talk about violence, violence against women and video games that's going on here. Let me be the first to just say, bravo, Deep Silver, bravo. You keep proving yourself to be every bit the incompetent game company that I've come to know you as. The game company that when the PC edition was very much as broken as the console editions of your original Dead Island, that it was the fans who actually fixed your crappy game and not you yourselves, because that wasn't priority. No, the DLC for the broken games that are 
in my opinion, only fun for one playthrough, if that, was priority instead of fixing, especially amongst them, the PS3 edition. Couldn't happen to a better company, in my opinion.